in about another minute or so, can I, uh, as you can see, we are in totally different place now. So let me share that with you as well. Almost ready. Good morning. Let's get going here. Good morning. Hello and welcome back. I mean, as you can see, I'm in totally different place now. So I drove about four hours from Tucson yesterday. I'm up in Flagstaff. So let me show you my vacation copy bar setup. And you know what? Let me flip the camera around. Okay. So I'm in Flagstaff and look, look at outside. It still has a snow on the back. Snow on the back there. I mean, this is it's about what? 30 degree outside, it's pretty nice, okay? Big change from Tucson. Pine trees everywhere. It's, it's fantastic, fantastic. So I'm gonna be here for the next few days and hopefully we are, we are going to try some more local coffee shop in Flagstaff and do some little bit of fishing and we should be good to go. So here's my copy bar setup as well. So, so this morning, again, uh, I'm going to share with you, if, you, if you're planning on going on like trip, uh, trip that you guys dro uh, drive somewhere, and then uh, I'm gonna give you some couple recommendations as well. Uh, so let's get going. Uh, if you're just new to the, my channel, uh, welcome to YouTube Live. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe my channel. I mean, I have plenty of content coming up. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so you could, if you happen to travel, uh, like three, four hours, if you, if you wanna bring your coffee machine. So let me show you what to bring, okay? Let me show you what to bring. Obviously, you gotta bring your coffee machine for sure. Okay, and then, so here's what I did. I brought my, obviously, built-in temper there. I, I brought my 3D dosing funnel. Uh, you might need some cups. Actually, I brought everything. I got dosing, well, I got the dosing in mat. Okay, we got the uh, knockbox, coffee. I, I, I even brought my pour over setup as well, okay? My cup, bottomless pour filter, distribution tool. What else? Bar brought my scale. And even my, brought my, uh, let's see. Milk jug, yep, everything. Okay, so at this point, if you're going to bring something, so obviously a cup is optional, okay? You don't have to bring that. I mean, you don't have to bring any of this, but definitely bring, if you have it, definitely bring those in funnel and scale. Pretty much it. So this is all you need, okay? Obviously we have, you, you don't have your built-in temper anyway, I mean, so this is all you need. I mean, if you go to like, you know, your friend's house or vacation spot, you should have your cups too. So you don't need a cups. I mean, you don't need any of that. And uh, maybe milk jug for your latte, but that's about it, okay? That's about it. I mean, you don't need a mat. You might not need it. You don't need a distribution tool for that. Cups, obviously, you don't need it. Bottomless pour filter, I mean, no, you, you don't need it. Vacation spot, so. Obviously, if you wanna do pour over, you can bring some of this, but may, you may not need to, okay? Because, you know, I mean, 
in reality, how many times do you actually do the pour over during your vacation, sir? I know, I know, I mean, I'm, I mean, I wouldn't do it. But comes to do, uh, let's see, coffee canister, most likely you're gonna buy fresh beans anyway, wherever you guys go. So you may not need it, but if you want to, but, so this is must right here, okay? I definitely bring my scale, 3D dosing funnel. I have my temper, that's it. Maybe cups, maybe one of your favorite cups perhaps, but, oh, by the way, definitely bring your extension core, okay? Just in case, bring your, okay. I brought the wrong one, but if you bring something, bring the shorter extension core. That's definitely handy. So definitely bring, uh, bring that just in case it doesn't reach. The reason is, I mean, for this house setup, my core is not long enough to plug in there. So definitely bring yourself, you know, you know shorter extension core. And uh, I think if you have that, you're going to have a good time in your vacation spot. I mean, this is pretty small form factor, okay? This one fit perfect into my uh, trunk of my back of my car, so pretty good setup there. Okay, so you know what? Since we're on the vacation spot here, I'm just gonna make you guys, you know what, let's do espresso and Americano, okay, at the same time. So let's get going here. And I just already measure out 20 gram already. By the way, so with Brewster Pro, you don't need to warm up, okay? You don't need to, because after like 15 minutes, just shuts up automatically anyway, so definitely you don't need to warm up there. For my Brewster Express, I always, uh, I remove the plastic piece. Let me show you. I remove the plastic piece inside, but with Brewster Pro, I leave it on for intentionally because the portal filter, you never get hot like Brista Express does. So definitely having the plastic piece keep the warmth in your coffee. So uh, if you can, take it out. Unless, unless you wanna properly warm up your coffee machine. Otherwise, uh, I just leave it on. Okay, I'm just gonna, another dummy shot here. Okay. So we are, we are, a flagship is about 7,000 foot up. So comes to water temperature should be fine, but comes to boiling temperature is different than sea level. Okay. Uh, for this setup, I set up at what? A water temperature as default temperature. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna try out the water. It's not hot enough though. I think I'm gonna check my, uh, switch my temperature. So if you, don't, if you guys don't know how to change your temperature, let me show you. Um, Breeze that Pro. Click the menu button there. Change the dial to water temp. Press the end. Right now we are at uh, default temperature. I'm just gonna go one, one up, okay? That's plus two. So now we are ready to go. So now we are ready to brew. Little hotter temperature than one before. Okay, so let's do that one more time. Let's see. Because since they are using the thermal jet technology, I mean, that works pretty good. Okay, let's try one more. Yep. I mean, that's great thing about Brista Pro. Man, it works pretty fast. Okay, so let's get going, guys. I think my plan for today is I'm gonna take my younger son and then go do some fishing. Let's see. Uh, 
And then from here, I'm, I just like to tap like one, once or twice or so. So far, I've been using Brista Pro for the last couple of weeks. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Okay, someone asked me, what, what, what did you do with my Brista Express? Uh, sit at my house, okay? It's not going anywhere. So, and then, you know what? I'm not gonna temp it, okay? I'm just gonna use uh, my temper. I'm not gonna do the distribution, okay? I mean, just the temp. Give it a good temp. Comes the grinder setting, I set at 15. So this is a new bean, so we'll see. Hopefully we're gonna get decent shot out of it. So since I'm gonna do Americano and Espresso at the same time, so let me show you how I do it. Let's see here. I'm just gonna lock it in. That's why I mean I like to use a scale. Even though it's a little hassle, but I've got my here, one here, one down here, like so. And then put my other cup. So I'm gonna do half and a half. Okay. Just like that. Hold on, let me show you guys. Okay. And that's also another great thing about the Brista Pro, it just fits, just like Brista Express. I'm just gonna tear. So uh, it's about, I'm gonna um, yield about 40 grand. Uh, I'm gonna do the manual mode. Just hold on, I think I'm gonna do about, what, three second pre-infusion. Two, three, and let go. I'm shooting for around 40 gram. I got 42 gram. Took us about 41 seconds. Okay. So which means the coffee ground is too fine. So right now I'm at number 16, okay? I'm sorry, number 15. So if you wanna do it right, I have to go maybe 16, even 17 for my grinder setting. And I should be able to get the pretty decent shot next time. But since we are on vacation, I'm not gonna worry too much about dialing in, okay? At home, definitely I do. But I think I'm gonna use the uh, better setting for maybe this afternoon or maybe tomorrow morning. But meantime, I'm just gonna try over extract shot here. Cheers. It's bitter. Not that great. But the other half I use for my Americano. So with the Americano, it should be okay. And by the way, I mean, if you, if you haven't seen Brista Pro, check this out. So because with the Brista Express has a water faucet come down from the side, with the Pro, it's right inside. So, just like that. So this is more like eight ounce uh, America, Americano here. I'm just gonna stop right there. I mean, so I mean that Brista Pro, I mean they really designed to be really user friendly. We'll give it a good crema on the top. So let's try, okay, let's try this. Let's try this cup. So uh, obviously espresso was terrible, but with the Americano, let's see. Cheers, guys. It's, okay, it's, it's better than espresso, okay. 
better than espresso. But you know, once we dialed in, and it, uh, we're gonna try again this morning, uh, tomorrow morning. So let's dial in properly tomorrow morning and see how it goes. And also I'm gonna make some, uh, let's see, latte, uh, like, kind of like small cappuccino as well tomorrow morning. So by the way, a uh, couple nights ago, I was unboxing this little GB knockoff from Amazon, okay? So uh, I, mean, I, I heard from you guys great comments about thoughts on this one because, and so I'm really torn about this, okay? Because most of you out there, no one can afford, you know what, not no one, but you know what, I mean, most of us, it, I cannot afford to spend over $100 on a milk jug. But this milk jug from Amazon cost you, cost me, what, $22. And the problem with this jug I have, okay, it's not the design, okay, it's not the design. And I think Dane brought great point as well. They copy everything, okay? They copy everything but the name on the back, okay? Name on the back. So they designed the Swan logo, and they designed the, uh, they copy the handle as well, shape of the spout. Only thing difference is the name on the back and the di little bit different color, that's about it. Other than that, this is identical as a little GB. So, I mean, if they don't have the logo on it, okay, I understand, but they blatantly copy every bit of the little GB design. So, I mean, that's something I have issues with, okay? I, I have issues with it, okay? Am I recommend this milk jug for you guys? That's a very complicated question because this, you know, this... It's not so far so I used for last couple of days. It's fine, okay? I'm not a big fan of the very uh, Sharpie uh, spout design, but the uh, feels good, okay? Feels nice and everything works. Works, okay? For 22 bucks, this is, you know, a fair price. It's not bad. But again, am I support this company? Not really, okay? Because Again, they copy every single bit of their design. Uh, if they come up with maybe not even swan, maybe like, I don't know, like goose or duck or something like that, you know, change it up a little bit, but they blatantly copy this. So, I mean, what do you guys think, okay? I mean, you, I mean what, are you guys, what are you guys' thoughts about buying, I mean, knockoff, you know, products? I, I don't know because, I mean, I, I have issues with it, okay? So I think I might return this, okay? But I'm not sure, okay? I think I might, I think I might return this. But, okay, uh, let me know on your thoughts and comment, okay? Uh, please uh, let me know in your comment section what do you guys think. I mean, if, if you guys, me, you guys, I know because problem with price. Price is really good because I love the little GB products, but they are a little over my reach. They're over hundred dollars. It's not for, definitely not for regular people like us because they, they are, so this is designed for professional latte artists. So I'm not that guy. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys like this video. Okay. And then next couple of weeks, I'm going to do some, uh, starting next Monday, I'm planning on doing some more, uh, pour over method. Okay. Maybe some manual press. So we're gonna, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. So, and definitely I'm gonna show you guys a croup uh, sifter as well. So I'll give you more live demo on croup sifter because it does really, really fantastic job on a pro over method. So I can't wait to show you guys that. And I'm gonna be, I might do another live streaming maybe this afternoon, okay, maybe later this afternoon or Maybe, I don't know, maybe tonight as well. So we'll see. Make sure to watch out for that as well. So let's, I'm going to shout out some people. Uh, I cannot see the, since my wife's not here, so it's really hard to, hold on. It's really hard to see the comment section. But uh, anyway, uh, you guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, today's Friday. So I, ho I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. And see you guys tomorrow morning.